Hi right, guys, it's your boy Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. The number one requested video this week is on the Avalanche blockchain. Now for those who don't know, Avalanche is one of those cross-chain compatible smart contract Ethereum competitors that has seen a recent rise in popularity as well as price. Now today's video is all about explaining how to interact with this blockchain and all of the various DeFi applications surrounding this new and emerging ecosystem. Now the first thing you'd want to do is of course get an Avalanche wallet and for that I'm going to use the website wallet.avax.network and of course you know I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video. Now you know you're going to have to write down your private keys at some point so please get a pen and paper at this point and then go and click on create wallet. Generate your keys and these are your 24 keys for your wallet. You can always go and change them if you want to create a different wallet but once you have written down all 24 of these, click I have written them down and click access your wallet. But before I do that, I just want to reiterate guys, you should never show your private keys on camera like what I'm doing. You should always keep your private keys safe and secure, preferably written them down in your stone book or on a safe metal backup solution. In any case, I'm going to click on access wallet now and I'm being tested now to see if I have actually written down the words. Word number six. If I check back was vicious. Word number seven was girl. Word number 16 was vital. And word number 21 was column. All right, click on verify and congratulations, my wallet has been set up. Just click on access to take me to my wallet. The first you should probably look to do with any account is to back up your account. First, give it a name and a password. Once the backup is complete, the next thing you should probably do is to go and export your wallet. And there are two main ways that you can do that. You can either go here and export a paper wallet by printing it out, or you can go here to manage your keys and click on export keys. Of course, you would have to enter your password and then you will get an encrypted file downloaded to your computer, which you can save securely in case anything goes wrong. You can use that file to restore your wallet or to transfer it to other services like MetaMask. Now, the next thing I want to explain to you guys will be the three chains that Avalanche uses, the X, the P and the C chain. Now, Avalanche is a unique blockchain that utilizes three different chains for three different purposes. The X chain is your simple deposit address. The P chain, however, is used for staking purposes and to collect your staking rewards. Now, the C chain is the one that is most interesting to us because this is the one that is EVM compatible, meaning this is the one that will work in your MetaMask wallet and allow you to interact with Avalanche's DeFi ecosystem. So let's say you have your Avalanche on an exchange like Binance or KuCoin and you want to withdraw the Avalanche to your wallet. Now all exchanges should support the X chain as that is the native chain. Now let's say you want to withdraw to a MetaMask account instead, you would use the C chain. It could also work with this account as well, but I would recommend using the X chain when doing basic withdrawals. Also one thing to mention is that you can't withdraw to MetaMask unless you have set up your MetaMask wallet to receive Avalanche tokens. So remember, you have to set up your MetaMask wallet first and I'll show you guys how to do that later on in the video. But what I'm going to do right now is go and grab this exchange address, head over to Binance and do a quick withdrawal. I'm going to withdraw 1.19 AVAX. And once I get past my usual 2FA authentication and YubiKey security check, my avalanche should be successfully withdrawn to my wallet. And because this network is extremely fast, it took no time at all to arrive into my wallet. 
So the next thing I want to show you guys now is how to set up your MetaMask to receive Avalanche tokens as well. So let's head over to my MetaMask wallet and I'm going to click on this setup guide. And you can actually watch the video here, but what you want is to add a custom RPC to your MetaMask wallet. And we're going to add these particular fields into our MetaMask wallet to do that. Now, if you're completely new to using the MetaMask wallet, I do have a beginner's guide tutorial for you. I would have also done several other videos showing how to connect other networks such as the Binance Smart Chain, as well as the Songbird network. But right now we're gonna add a custom RPC. So we're going to go over here and copy and paste all of these fields into MetaMask. Once that's done, we just have to click on save and now we're connected to the Avalanche network. Now I'm going to leave links in my video description for all of these websites, but I would recommend you go and read the full article as it explains how to use the Avalanche wallet and how to interact with MetaMask perfectly. But if you don't want to read it yourself, that's fine because I'm going to show you guys how to send from my Avalanche wallet to my MetaMask. First thing I'm going to do is copy this address and head back over to my wallet. So here in my wallet, I'm going to go to cross chain and I'm going to send my tokens from the X chain to the C chain contract. And this would make my tokens compatible with MetaMask. I'm going to transfer all of them. Click confirm, note the fee 0.002. Transfer. Just note down how fast that transaction was. Now what I want to do now is to send these C tokens or tokens on the C network over to my MetaMask. So the first thing you're going to do is change your source chain from X to C. And now you're going to paste in your MetaMask address. And I want to send all of my tokens. Now note that there is going to be a small gas fee. Let's see how much it would be in this case. 0 0.0006 AVAX and this is not a problem send the transaction and just like that it has been completed so if I go ahead over to my MetaMask wallet you will see my AVAX tokens have arrived so all that's left to do now is to show you guys how to interact with DeFi on Avalanche and to do this I'm going to use the Pangolin exchange this is an exchange very similar to Uniswap but it's on the Avalanche network. So once I click here on launch app, this is what the exchange should look like. And the first thing you want to do is of course, go and click connect your wallet. Then you're gonna choose MetaMask and you're gonna connect with your new Avalanche wallet. So let's say I want to use this service now to swap some of my Avalanche tokens into another token. I go here in the drop down menu I look for whatever token it is I want. In this case, I'm going to swap for some PNG token. And I'm going to swap about 0 0.1 Avalanche. And that will give me 4.8 PNG tokens. I click swap. Confirm swap. Of course, MetaMask is going to open up. And look, notice the very low transaction fees, guys. Once I click on confirm, my transaction should be on the way. And just like that, the swap has been completed. So basically, this brings me to the end of my Avalanche tutorial video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like, share, and comment below. If you're feeling generous, you can also donate some AVAX to the wallet address on the screen. This is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. Thank you for watching.